Hello, everybody. And welcome back to another video. It's been like a week and a half, and I feel like a new man, you know? Life got substantially better for me since I went to summer camp, and I have a breath of fresh air, you know? Maybe these videos will be on an uphill spiral, you know? If that exists. It's like playing the reverse of shoots and ladders. The ladders make you fall down, and the shoots make you go up. It's so weird. But, yeah, I'm back, and I also noticed that one of my videos actually got a ton of views. My, um, Skate 3 clips. Finally, that was my one-hit video. And from then, I'm just gonna keep on making bang, bang, bangers, you know? Don't worry, I'll come up with more game play and stuff. I'll find something. I just gotta do what is popular. I gotta do what's trendy. Everybody doing... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. It's raining. Oh, I feel... Yeah, I feel... It's definitely raining. Sweet. Woohoo! But, yeah. I met a ton of new people and just have a different life there. My, my a ton of guys and a ton of girls at summer camp. I became like a phenomenon. But since I'm a Boy Scout, I end up going to um, Camp Geronimo this year, and it was really fun, no doubt about it. I just had a good time, did a ton of merit badges. I bought knives, which in another video, if we can find them, I'll, I'll definitely like show them to you. One's like. It looks like a knife straight out of CSGO. It looks like it has like a black handle and a rainbow like and blade. It's really cool. And then the other one just has like a skeleton wrap on it. It's sick as hell. But yeah, I also just feel more confident about myself because for once in my life, girls actually fell for me, you know? People actually liked me and it's going all super well. Not even, oh God. It doesn't stop from raining on my parade, which I'm loving it, you know? The rain, it doesn't bother, bother me, you know? It's not saying. And yeah, I still get upset when there's no rain. Like in that one song. All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. I like watching the birds gather rain. And I don't understand why I sleep all the way. And I sleep my life away, but it's a bit, it's a great escape. Escape. Escape, hey, hey, hey. Now I like my teeth and strategy. Hello, it's B. Yo. Bone. The giant. Bunny. Damn, I never got that close to one before. That's pretty cool. It. <laughs> and I honestly think I could probably take up some kind of career and like singing or something but honestly I could be like a pro gamer or something you know C-series or something no I hate the series what the hell am I saying it could be like what used to be popular back in the day could be one of those, like, nah, they don't exist. Like, edgy YouTubers, like, they used to exist a ton, and then they all, like, disappear, like, Leafy and H3H3 and, um, and, like, all those old guys I used to watch, like, God, I think it started, like, a V. It was guys that, um, I don't know. <laughs> But I used to remember them really well, you know? They used to be a big part of my childhood. And then they just disappeared. 
I wonder why I got bullied when most of the people I was just watching were like bullies and stuff and like harass people, but life's like that sometimes. Fame only, nah, fame only benefits those who can make a living, you know? Because to be famous, you need to actually have like money and stuff or no, 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 that doesn't work like that. You gotta get popular, you gotta get trendy, you know? And I'm gonna skyrocket up into the trends soon enough. Since this is now my, like, sixth subscriber special or something like that, you know? Which is insane, you know? I'm finally getting somewhere, and it feels good. But also during summer camp... I came up with the best analogy for life. Life is like clay, actually. It, you take so much time to morph it and so much time to like mold it and stuff. You have to have like put love and effort and tears and sweat into molding your life. And then once you finally mold it, you're into like a weird clay pot, super sad, empty. And then someone could put, like, flowers into you, you know? You could just be like clay. And at the end of the day, someone might just break the pot. Or you could be there for hundreds of years. And then you could be, like, in a museum for how your life turned out. Or you could be in, like, an antique shop or something. It all depends on what you do with your life, how you're molded, and what your use is. Because you could either be, like, a flower pot, or you could be, like... A cigarette, like, stopper, you know? That you find at, like, grocery stores. Just, just turn it out, you know? And that's the biggest thing in life. is all about how you, other people might use you and how you look at yourself. Because, honestly, it's also like a blank canvas. You could make anything or you could just keep it the way you are. And at that point, you're just still a blank space for someone to make. Or for yourself to make, you know? Because everything wears down o over time. And if you do that, you might just be worn down after a while. But you can also just be unique. Because, oh, I don't have... Nah, nah. Because one thing might have... A tear in it or a different kind of stain and it might be there forever and that makes it like unique by technicality you know and some people just want to see the world burn like some guy tried protesting by throwing a pie at the Mona Lisa which is really fucking stupid you know oh excuse my pardon my French actually Which, like, why were you doing that? Why is that going to prove anything to the world? Because you got, like, lizard people living underneath the world or something? Destroying stuff that was in the past is not going to change the future. Unless we actually listen to the past. And we actually, like, change our way that we think about what's going to go on in the future. Because at some point, history repeats itself. You know? We're going to another war... And sometimes it looks similar to stuff that's already happened before. And it's okay to accept that. <laughs> because as long as we're actually learning from it and seeing what's going on, then there's nothing wrong with it. But if we're just ignorant or if we're just blaming on another person, we're never going to get anywhere. To be honest, I think we could like probably find the cure to cancer or something like that. If we all just looked at it in a different light, you know, or if we all just looked at it at a different angle. So like, what if they made some kind of vaccine of it? Or some kind of, like, like a flu shot, you know? You get a little bit of the flu, but you get to live it. If there was some way to, instead of actually make a vaccine of cancer, there was some way to make it less powerful so that everybody's body could repent repel it, then there would be no problem with actual cancer, you know? Or, no, there still would be. There's still so much mass death in the world, and there's nothing we can do about it. I 
want to see what we could do about it, but not much has changed in a hundred years. No, no, a lot has changed, but a hundred years ago, nine, nah, 1922, we were in a similar spot. We were having a big economic boom and then a big Great Depression and then another war, war and that was, might be what's going on right now because the world's falling apart. America might fall apart. And at the end of the day, I just want, if I can get to 10 subscribers, I will poke myself on that. <sighs> oh. Never mind, that rant was going nowhere. But hey, I'll just sit and play video games because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I know for a fact that I'm a gamer and Tony isn't going to hawk himself, so I got to make another one of those videos. Part two will be coming later today. I promise you that. And it will be fun, I think. Yeah. If I can learn how to like screen record like an Xbox or something, I probably could do the remakes of one and two, which are really fun. So I'm good at those, so I might play those at some point. But I forgot like Everyone forgets that there was once a time where we all like had selfie sticks and we thought taking photos was the biggest thing. And nowadays, just people forget to take people forgot to take photos and instead they just like they take too many photos of nothing, but they don't actually savor the moment. The amount of times I probably like saved a video to my phone, but didn't look back at it or like a meme or something. It's just a ton of space and. At some point, if we just have some dumb photo be the last thing remaining from humanity, it'd be like some mean about like the rock or something, you know? And that's, that's okay. That's what is left to show about. Oh yeah, I, nobody's here? Cool. I never showed anyone this. There's a bike in a tree. <laughs> On the day I was born, rolling by, pavilion, bed, 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 how was dumb. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Why did I have to step on a rock? It's definitely gonna be raining more today, but you know, I find it a beautiful day. Oh god. Why does my body hurt so much all of a sudden? I didn't do anything. Oh yeah, that's why. I actually did a lot of hiking and I've been able to enjoy nature more. I was gone for like a week and a half and then as soon as I came back, I didn't even play any games. I just slept. And you know, that's the beautiful thing about life. Sometimes you should just enjoy nature, enjoy the sky, enjoy the mountains, enjoy just the nature around you. I met some wonderful people. I had to do a whole mare badge on just environmental science and what impacts the environment. And I learned about all the things going on because I kind of had to pay attention, you know? It was a two hour class every morning for a whole week. So I was either falling asleep in class or paying attention avidly. And just, kind of, or just like learning and learning about how the different animals impact each other and how like they live together or just, and like also invasive species like crawdads up in like 
Arizona and other places. They came from like Louisiana. I mean, nah, that's probably wrong. But they came from somewhere else, and then they came into our territory, where they thrived more than anything else. And now I go to a river, and there's nothing other than crawdads, and everything else is just dying off. You know. And the whole thing about that is, 